you might remember last year we had um, Personality Plus. And Personality Plus was a very successful feature last year. And we focused mainly on, on the visuals of players, making sure that they looked just like their real life counterparts, their dribble styles, um, their body styles. And also on the gameplay side of things, we focused on making sure that the attributes really meant something uh, when you were executing all the different actions in our game. So if you were shooting or passing, that if you have players that were excellent at these areas, you could really see the difference when you were um, doing all these things in the game. What we're doing this year with Pro Player Intelligence is giving the CPU and AI control players a new layer of self-awareness that will allow them to make different decisions in different scenarios. So in this video, you see how Peter Crouch is already in the heart of the box, in a great position for, for a header situation. Now, we just run the regular logic in the game and see what the CPU decision making once he gets to the ball is going to be. And in the Peter Crouch example, this CPU player is asking himself, not only what am I really good at, but who are my players, where are my teammates, and what are they really good at? And in this case, that teammate is Peter Crouch. So as you can see, when he gets to the ball, he puts the cross in first time, and it results in a goal by Peter Crouch off a header. Now we're going to run the same scenario again, and all the variables are exactly the same. The only thing that we're changing is substituting Peter Crouch for the Spanish striker David Villa. And of course, you know, David Villa is an excellent striker, but he is not known for being a, you know, an aerial threat. So in this case, the CPU is now running towards the ball, and now his decision making is going to change precisely because of this factor. Everything is exactly the same, but he knows that it's Vija now inside the box and that it's not really a good opportunity to cross the ball in. So when he gets to the ball, he actually takes another touch, tries to buy himself some time, and ends up playing it back to a teammate that supports, uh, supports close. Um, and now, incidentally, this is very much the way Barcelona plays in, in these types of situations. They play it back around the box and try a uh, find a really you know, deadly pass that then pierces the defense and creates a scoring opportunity. So as you can see, now we're getting a lot of variety, giving us a, a specific scenario and a lot of uh, authenticity as well.